All right, hey guys, welcome back to another DOY Creations video. I am Jeanette, AKA Soraya. And before I get started, you guys know I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. All right, guys, so I am stopping in because I am so excited. I did it, Z, I did it. Okay, I'll tell you guys, I am such a visual learner to a whole nother level. I can read patterns to its simplicity, but if it's anything that it just one stitch can throw the whole thing off. But anyway, guys, so I finished my Just Feel Festive shawl. Um, so if you guys are not on board with the Just Feel Festive shawl cow that's going on, um, I don't know where you've been, all right? But I'll leave the information down in the description box below. So I finished mine and I was so nervous doing it, guys. I am never nervous doing a project, but this project had me kind of nervous because I guess because I wanted to do it so desperately and I wanted Z, I wanted to make Z proud of me. So I was like, I just don't know. But y'all, it's so easy once you get the hang of it. And also, if you're into, if you're just like me, who really is a visual person, Z does have a uh, tutorial, and I will leave that tutorial down below. It's not too late to get on the j hashtag Just Feel Festive Shaw Cow. Uh, it's not too late to get on board, and I'll leave that tutorial in case you want to try it out. But guys, oh my goodness, I am so in love with this this project so here is mine and i put some tassels i think i probably cut these a little bit i shaped them but i think i probably cut them a little bit longer shorter what do you guys think i don't know you see how long it is it might go shorter i love it now i'll be honest with you guys i'll be honest i really um don't know exactly how I'm supposed to wear this, but hey, it's a shawl. You can wear it however you want to. Um, and the next time I do this pattern, I wash this and block this. I'm tall and well, I'm five foot seven and a half. And I think with Kalisha from the Quirky Monday, uh, podcast. I think she used a more thinner material to make it drape a little bit more. I'll share with you guys all the yarn I use, but here it is, and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, because I really don't know how to wear it, I like to bring things to my neck, and I just like to bring it around. And see, the fringe just helps out, y'all. The the um the tassels or fringes however you do it helps out so i'm going to play around this is so cozy right here this is so cozy let me know what you guys think of it i can wear it around myself like that with my nice jacket or because i'm thinking hey it's a shawl bring it around the other way you know how we do our shawls we usually have our shawls going in this type of way. So let's straighten that out a little bit. So we have it going this way. How awesome is that? I love it with my tassels. I'm going to make those smaller. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you all. So yeah, guys. So I went on and I made that. And I guess you can just put a little brooch right here if you want to tie it up. Or I could just bring it on up right here and just, I mean... Wear your wear your shawl any way that you would like to wear it. I'm just going to be playing around with some different ways. Um, the thing about it is um, the foundation change. I would have liked to make it longer, but I did it exactly the the length and everything as her tutorial uh, as the instructions had it. So yeah. So let me share with you guys. Let me just turn this around. I really like the other way. I like wearing it. Y'all, I like wearing it when you bring it up. 
and bring it around. I like this way. This is this is a good way to wear it, okay? But wear it however you like. Now, the yarn that I use, guys, I used three different yarns. And the yarn that I used was uh, Red Heart Super Savior. This is in the colorway uh, Real Teal. So I, and this is all I got left, but I didn't start with a full, full skein of yarn. So, uh, but this is a red heart yarn and teal, and this is called real teal. Then I use red heart with love, which is this color right here. And this colorway right here is called ice aqua. It's called ice aqua. And the third color that I use, it did not have a ball band on it. So I know it's probably from a uh, red heart, but I don't have a ball band. So I love to play with colors. You guys know, if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I like to play with colors and I thought these three colors played well together. I know everyone to make yours look a little bit more um it's just feel festive to make it look a little bit more festive festive you all use you know uh variegated yarn but i wanted to actually use up some of my yarn that was just laying around and so i thought this was just a great project to work on so yeah awesome tutorial awesome pattern so guys i did not stop there i like to do things in sets and so i created a new design of hat that i'm calling qnet is q u n e t and that's a abbreviation for queen and my name is Jeanette. so i took the net and i call it qnet okay and i made this a beautiful beautiful hat to go with it and i think this hat is it's so royalty to me it's like someone a queen should be wearing it so guys i created this new hat i got my tag on here i was thinking about uh when i made this and i was really excited to make it and you guys know if you don't know i do things real basic i like to do the basic beanies and the basic head and scarf set uh, but today, last night, I got up around about maybe like 10 o'clock last night. I mean, I was like, okay, who's who's doing live while I'm doing this hat? And uh, I watched the Triple C and the Joe show, and I said, perfect. So I worked on this hat on last night, and I finished it off this morning, and I absolutely love this creation. Now, I didn't follow anyone's tutorial I was just being creative and creating this hat and I really love how it turned out. I have my tag on there, which is D-O-Y crochet. And doesn't this look beautiful? Doesn't this absolutely look beautiful? I love it. I absolutely love, love, love this hat. And yes, I wanted to make sure that I used the same yarn, and I wanted to make sure that the yarn popped out. I wanted it to, you know, to give its own um, its own look. And I think that's what I accomplished. I started with the color, I'm not for sure, and I went to the real teal, uh, the aqua, back to the color, I'm not for sure. And I wanted to uh, end it in a uh, more darker color to give it the more fall, winter look. Uh, because at first I was like, okay, I'm going to finish it off with this brighter color. But I thought, how about if I bring it down with a, a darker color and it will really showcase that you can wear this these colors right here. You can basically wear them all year long, all year strong. However, I was going for the fall and winter look because of the Just Feel Festive shawl. And I thought this and this is just absolutely perfect. I wasn't for sure exactly where I was, what direction I was going when I was, um, it was just a thought. So when I first finished the Just Feel Festive shawl, I was like, well, I'll just make a basic beanie or maybe I'll just make a pair of earrings to go along with it. But I'm like, no, I want this to really 
you know what I mean, stand out. And I think with this hat right here, it really does stands out. I absolutely love how I did it. And I got to write it down because I'll forget. <laughs> I'll forget what I did to accomplish that. And her just feel festive shawl. She is just, she is just gorgeous. Can a mannequin be gorgeous? I don't know. But anyway, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just beautiful. Yeah. So that, okay, don't worry about that wrapping, y'all. Don't concern yourself with how I just wrapped that around her neck, y'all. But I just wanted to show it together. And this is great if you got, uh, short hair but especially if you got a longer length of hair and you want to you know wear it with your uh nice hat that would be so cool so let me know in the comments guys what do you think about this set what do you think about my just feel festive shawl i gotta send z a picture most likely i'm going to send her a picture before i actually upload this video but um so that is my just feel festive shawl that is my Cunet new hat design that I designed. Um, so I'll leave that name in the description bar below because I'm using my uh, computer to record this and I don't have any editing on here. So I can't put any names across. So check out the description for any additional information. Now you guys, you remember I made this hat right here. I did a tutorial on this hat right here that gives you the little texture you know, not too much, but I just like sometimes to give things this texture. So I was telling you guys, I was working on a cow neck scarf to go along with it. And I decided that I wanted to be a little bit more different with the cow. And so let me show you what I did to make this cow stand out just a little bit more. I haven't seen anyone do it like this. But anyway... So here is the cow. But what I did differently, let's try it on. What I did differently is there's nothing different if you just got some fringes added to your cow. But how about if you have the fringes going down the cow as well? So I just made a lot of fringes. And when I got through with making... Um, the fringe down here, I had a lot of fringes left over. And so I was like, okay, what am I gonna do with that? Do I want to bring it back some more with the fringes? But I liked it, the amount of fringes that I had. So I decided to add the fringes to go directly down the middle and it flows so nicely. I have some products in my hair, so I don't wanna put this on. And this one is on my website. If you are interested in purchasing this set right here. So that's why I don't want to put this on my head. But I really love. What do you guys think of this new and improved French? I forgot what I named it. You got to go to my website and see the name that I named it. But I love this guys. I love how I just uh, critiqued it and made it a little bit different by adding this. So what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to be making some more uh, cow neck scars and I'm going to be adding the fringes to go down. I think it helped the, the uh, cow neck to drape a little bit more and you put on your nice jacket or your nice coat and voila, you got a beautiful, 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 beautiful cow neck Everyone is not uh, for hats and scarf, but in the colder months or in the cooler months, there's nothing like a nice cow neck scarf to go around your neck. Now on my website, I only have this one in this beautiful color right here. However, if it's a color that you want other than blue, let me know. But I would really love for someone to purchase this one because I think it's just absolutely beautiful and great for the season i love it guys but let me know what you guys think of it down below so that is let's take off these earrings because i don't want anything to snag see how that looks that's just absolutely 
beautiful. I liked how I came up with it. At this time of the year, guys, let me tell you this. This time of the year, I really uh, step outside the box. I don't like to do everything so traditionally. Um, I try to do things a little bit, just a snap bit different to make my brand stands out a little bit more. Um, and I know a lot of people are concerned about people um, using their creations or using their ideas and making them into their own. And hey, I, I don't know what to do about that. However, if if this has inspired you to make you a French cow, and I'm going to be adding more franges other places, if this has inspired you to make it like mine, if you could just give me a shout out on Insta, on Facebook, or wherever you do it at, that would be so awesome. I don't think the uh, designers need to be out of the loop when you're using their idea or their creation. You can make it into your own, but if I inspired you, please include that. And you guys have been so awesome with doing that. Um, when you do the hashtag on Insta, for example, I notice a lot of people say hashtag uh, DOY and then they give abbreviation creation. The DOY is not abbreviated. It's just one, one sentence, one, not one sentence, but one name. So when you uh, make sure that when you tag in me, Make sure you tag it as a uh, hashtag DOY creation seven or at DOY creation seven, but don't abbreviate the name because it, it doesn't come to me. I don't see it. It's just that, um, I, I am, um, I may be following you and then your post has pop up and then I just see my name in there. But if someone else wanted to check it out or even check out more of my creations, uh, make sure you do the hashtag DOY creation seven, all one word, or at uh, DOY creation seven, all one word, instead of breaking up the name. I think that's why I got rid of the seven. Uh, you uh, on Instagram, I still have the DOY creation seven. Also on um, my Etsy store, I still have DOY creation seven. I might be modifying that to remove the seven. Somehow the seven get lost in the sauce, okay? It gets lost in transition. So that's why on here on the YT, I got rid of the seven because a lot of folks were saying DOY seven creations, seven DOY creation, and it was just DOY creation seven. The seven has always been at the end of my title, but I don't know how, I don't know why. It becomes in the middle. It becomes in the beginning. And I'm like, really? It's right at the end. But any case, um, make sure that if you are going to be tagging me or anything on Instagram, make sure it's the DOY Creation 7, all one word or on um, Facebook, you know, DOY Crochet. All right, guys. So anyway, I just wanted to stop in to show you that, that, and my Just Feel Festa shawl that I have placed nicely on my floor right here. I didn't throw it, it's on there nicely. So again, happy birthday. Z birthday is the 15th of October. So she wanted all these to be done and posted by the 15th. And so I, mine is done and I'm excited about it. I'm on, I would like to make another one of these uh, Just Feel Festa shawl. I think the next one that I do, I'm going to use a variegated yarn so it can just flow a little bit better in a thinner yarn as well. But right now, I just wanted to make sure Z know that I heard the call for the, you know, Just Feel Festa shawl and I wanted to join right in. Guys, if you have not entered in my bootleg giveaway, make sure you check out that video. It's a hashtag bootleg giveaway. Uh, make sure you uh, comment in there and enter in for that giveaway as well. So that is all on my whips. That is all that I've completed. And I'm on to the next project and what that next project is to be continued. You'll see. I'll be back. I'll share it with you guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to another DOY Creations video. I appreciate it so, so very much. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of my Just Feel Festive shawl. I feel like it turned out really great um, and all my, you know, my new items that I've created. 
All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it so, so very much. And until next video, always remember, y'all, yeah, some 68.4 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.